Hi, I'm here with Dave. Dave from Dissington, in fact, um, at the Knox factory. Um, Dave had seen uh, a piece that we'd done on the bike shed in terms of the Meet the Makers yeah. piece that came out a couple of weeks ago and uh, thought, do you know what, while he's in town, he'll check out the, uh, the Knox factory. So here he is. And the reason I jumped on this uh, video, I asked Dave, I said, look, can we do a little video? Because this is a truly beautiful machine. Now we're getting quite a lot of um, bikes here at the Knox factory, but they tend to be like your runner and mill stuff like the GS 1200s, uh, 1290 KTMs, all that kind of just, you know, super popular bikes. But it's very seldom <laughs> we get a bike like this. It's a so, bit different. Yeah, tell us a bit about it, Dave. Um, so it was originally a 1991 um, Sporter XLH, but obviously it doesn't look anything like it anymore. No. Um, Custom built one off by uh, Carter Harris Attitude Customs. Okay. It's uh, an original 883, still the engine is the original 883. It's got oversized rockers on there to follow the line of the frame, but he, he handmade the frame in shop. Mm. Um, he took a set of original replica springers, threw them in, dropped them two inch under. Uh, you got a rigid <laughs> rear end because he wanted to go long and low. He didn't want to go. Yeah. Simon's got a lot of bikes out there, a lot of big back wheels. He's probably the most prolific uh, custom builder out there. Sure. And Carter said, I want to do my own style. So he went for something different. So yeah. long, low, rigid. You got about two inch of clearance. Have you? Um, but it rides lovely because the centre gravity is so low. And the, well, because that's, that's, so that's long. often what you think with a bike that looks like this. You know, do, do, do people just show them or do they actually ride them? And I think you actually ride this. I ride it all the time. Um, you'll see me out and about up in Cumbria when I'm here. You'll see mm. me out and about in London. Anywhere in between, I was down, rode it down to Kent uh, for the Seven Oaks Motor Show a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've rode it over Mosser and fantastic. <laughs> round over Honest and a bit bumpy. Right. Bit it's, a bumpy. Bit, it's a bit lumpy, <laughs> but you slow cruising. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So now absolutely. you don't get much of it, but when the sun's out, it's an absolute oh, pleasure, and it's yeah. just fun to drive. A smile from here to here yeah, whenever yeah. you're on it. So it's yeah, it's, I just absolutely love it. I, mean, I love I love this type of bike. I mean, <clears> currently I'm riding a. Jixxer 750 but you know and you tend to think people are just like you know they're just like one type of bike I could have like about 50 yeah. different bikes to be honest you'll never find I've, I've rode bikes for years my gran lived just over the road um, it probably started there because she rode bikes from the 50s and I've still got her original 1951 dot that she used to race in oh, trials really? and scrambles so wow. it kind of started there and you're right i've never found one bike that fits everything i want to do sure, sure. you've got to have a garage with, <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, with, a, with a few it, in it's a bit of a bug uh, isn't it but this is just so this was just so different i've come from yeah. sports trials trail <laughs> motocross sure. and this this to me when i saw this i just I fell in love <laughs> well, and what, and, and, and have and why wouldn't you so uh, look it's got a lot of gold going on yeah, tell us a little bit yeah. about that dave um so what you've got is the spokes front and rear uh, twisted spokes they're 24 karat gold plated yeah um, I mean, that, that's that's unique I've never, yeah. I've never actually heard of that before they're nice aren't they the twist as well gives a, a nice shine to them <laughs> if you want to do it price, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you've got to watch don't polish it off otherwise you rub, rub palm notes off it yeah yeah uh, yeah, I'll bet, yeah so the push rods as well you've got the four push rods there 24 karat gold plated as well um, but you're right gold gets a bit more expensive so change to brass so i can't put on the um custom tech levers mm. and then a lot of the brass you see is actually hand machined in shop they've got a milling machine and a lathe okay. so all the all the thin brass on the oil tank and the the pipes the foot pegs he hand machined them what's this thing going on up the front all right so that is an old uh, vintage uh, fire extinguisher an old water fire extinguisher mm -hmm. um, and he's fitted that because you've got so much rake on the bike it didn't kind of look right with nothing there sure. but what it does is you've got the oil filter sat right behind it so with no front fender um, it gives the oil filter some protection. It stops stones from penetrating and everything. It? So it, ju it just looks And it sweet. just looks nice. It takes a bit of polishing. As you can see, the bike's absolutely filthy. Yeah. That's because I've been riding it today, so. So, uh, so next next big ride, you're going to be at the D Distinguished Gentleman's Ride yeah, in London, right? Yeah, I'm going to be doing the uh, DGR in London. I've signed up um, okay. with the guys from the bike shed. Yeah. Uh, Dutchie's going to lead that one out. Wicked. Um, so I can't wait, 30th of September. Um, I've got an online page, so get behind it. We can put the link in the description. You can, like yeah, that. put the link in. Um, trying to raise as much money as we can for, obviously, prostate cancer and, and men's mental health. So we put the link in the description for that one. Yeah. Um, you're also entering a competition um, with uh, BSH, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was at the uh, Ace Cafe Diamond Day, um, okay. hosted by the National Chopper Club. Uh, Backstreet Heroes were there and they picked me out as best custom on the day, which has put the bike into the national final. So it's out in this uh, September issue. 
um, if you get online, um, follow, follow link through. There's about five classes, I'm down to the final four for best custom, so get online, vote, let's see if we can't get this Cumbrian lad on his bike Absolutely. to the NEC. Absolutely. Well, well, I'm working uh, on 11 days, so we'll, <laughs> we'll, uh, if, if, we get, if we get your pass, I'll no doubt see yeah, you there. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> we, we're hoping to have it there, and it'll be good for Attitude and, and Carter to get yeah, it there. Absolutely. So, that that's 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 awesome well i think before you kind of get back off we're gonna um fire it up at some point yeah yeah <laughs> isn't it awesome yeah <laughs> that, now that's how it, that's how it should sound right? yeah love that so what a beast dave absolute <laughs> cracking bike yeah it and sounds it, well it, it done it sound well yeah absolutely and dave's just offered me to have a quick blast out on yeah. it as well so i'm properly going to take him up on that one get out on it that's what it was built for it was built to ride not sit and look pretty that's awesome uh, hey thanks so much man i really oh, appreciate you're welcome. you you're welcome us. mate you're welcome that's great Pleasure. And, uh, don't, don't be a stranger i won't be yeah, <laughs> I won't. We'll, well hopefully we'll see you at the nec fingers on crossed, the backstreet hero crossed. stand yeah get voting get yeah. this bike there it deserves okay. it awesome the hell? You might want to back up a bit, it hasn't got much of a turning circle. Awesome! <laughs>